So starting off, we have the full card in reverse. And this is joined with the Wheel of Fortune. And there is something here where you're not fully willing to take the leap on to this brand new journey. With the full card here, there is something about not overthinking it, but just doing what brings you joy, just leaping in to this destiny. And this is destiny with the Wheel of Fortune here, where destiny is in your favor and this destined moment is opening up to you. And so it is a big question of what are you willing to do? Because the world card is in reverse where there is this block it's almost as if you are blocking yourself off from this experience, from this new journey, from this destiny, this destination. And with this, for many of you, there is this big thing here where it is showing you that if you are willing to jump in to this new experience, that this is destiny waiting for you, that there are these positive moments in this abundance that is coming in. So this is a question of faith. And we talked a lot about this with Jupiter and Capricorn, that this is a faith test because Jupiter is in its weakest position in Capricorn, where Jupiter wants to be optimistic and faithful and open up these major doorways. But it has to do it through Capricorn, where there is more discipline, there's more work, there's more commitment that needs to be put into the process. And so it's a big question of faith and how much faith do you have in this new journey and this new experience and jumping into this brand new world for a lot of you moving into 2020. And even with the Knight of Swords here, this is a Gemini card, the Knight of Swords. And so this is asking you to tap into that natural curiosity, into that natural desire to experience something new. This is asking you to go into this new experience, this new journey with the Knight of Swords. And there is something here about this is tapping into your truth, your authenticity, as you're charging into this new experience taking on this new experience, learning something new along the way. So a lot of big new doorways opening for you, Gemini, in 2020. And we have Neptune and Earth in reverse. And so once again, this goes back to this energy of Jupiter and Capricorn, where there's something here about not making these dreams concrete. With Earth here, it is asking you to be more practical, to put in the steps in Neptune here, this big dream, this big vision that a lot of you have. And so it is important as Uranus is in Taurus, as Neptune is in Pisces, all of these outer planets pointing towards this big time to take your dreams, your visions, and turn them into reality. This is a big creation time as we're moving into 2020, as this is the number 22 year in numerology of the master builder. And so this is all about building your destiny, building this vision that you have for yourself. You know, and we talked about this also with this energy here of creating this big vision that you have for yourself. A lot of you out there have this vision, this goal, this plan that you want to create. And so here, it's interesting that we get Pisces, Sagittarius, and Leo. Because there's something about these three energies that is about creating this big vision. Right, we talk about Pisces 
and this very artistic, creative vision. And we talk about Sagittarius with these great philosophical ideas. And Leo here also with this very dramatic flair, this very creative flair, this expression. And so there's a big calling here for you to fully express yourself, to fully create that vision that you want for yourself, to fully put that vision and that plan and that goal into reality. And so this is big for a lot of you Geminis out there. This is a big creation time for you moving into 2020 and you have big things to create as you're moving forward. And so asking you very much to just be open to this new experience that you are moving into. And with Aries here again, it is a time to take action. It is a time to move into what is new. This is a changing of the seasons for you. This is starting something fresh, something new. And with this energy, this is about identity. This is asking you to be confident in who you are and to fully express who you are. With Aries being the leader of the Zodiac, being that first sign, dealing with this identity, this expression, this confidence, this passion. And so again, there is this big calling to create this new experience, this new journey that you are moving into that once again with that knight of swords so once again it is a new experience it is elevating you to your highest potential uranus here wanting to elevate you to a higher frequency and there is something here about how Uranus is opening the doorway up for new experiences, for unique experiences. This change that is coming in, again, this big changing of the seasons for you. And there's something here about you stepping into your highest potential with Uranus here. How are you going to evolve? How are you going to come in to this new experience, this new revelation of who you are. And so there is a big thing here, Gemini, about stepping into this new experience, about creating something new, this new journey overall. And this is big as the North Node is going to switch into Gemini. So if you are Gemini rising, this North Node affecting your 12th or first house dealing with this whole identity, this whole expression of self. And so this is a new chapter as this point of destiny is moving into that first area of your chart. This new starting point, this new destination, moving into this new space. And as we know, the North Node is exalted in Gemini. The North Node is in its strongest position in Gemini because Gemini does have that curiosity to open up the new doorways and new information and learning through new experiences. And this North Node is this destiny point of moving into the unknown, moving into something new, these new lessons, these new experiences, which puts the South Node in Sagittarius. And so for a lot of you, the South Node being on that relationship house, moving out of that shadow side, moving out of that place that doesn't fully resonate with you with this Sagittarius South Node of these old karmic patterns and these old belief systems. Remember that Sagittarius deals with belief systems and philosophies. So leaving behind these old belief systems that no longer serve you as we're moving into this brand new space. Remember that this is big as we do have a big Pluto Saturn conjunction in Capricorn, which is this big moment of this huge change and transformation on a collective level, which later on we do see a big Saturn Jupiter conjunction. 
at the end of 2020, which is opening up this big portal of new experiences, new lessons, and new abundance coming in. And so this is a big year for you, Gemini. This is a big year of creating something brand new and moving into a new space. So that is your January 2020 horoscope for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. If you are watching this on Instagram or Facebook, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as sharing this out. And I will see you all in the next video.